Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question number of music playlist. So your music player contains n different songs. So you want to listen to all songs, not necessarily different, during your trip. To avoid a boredom, you will create a playlist so that every song is played at least once. A song can only be played again only if k other songs has have been played. So you are given n goal and k return the number of possible playlists that you can create. Since the answer can be very large, uh, return is a modulo uh, 10 to the power of 9 plus 7. OK, so let me explain a uh, main point to solve this question. To solve this question, I use a 2D dynamic programming. And uh, we access like a dp i and j. So dp i j uh, represents the number of possible playlists of lengths i containing the exact j unique song. So in the end, our goal is to return the like a, a playlist of length goal and using a exact n unique song. OK, at first, let's consider the scenario where we add a new, new song that hasn't been played yet to, to the playlist. As the playlist length increase by 1, like uh, from i minus 1 to i, uh, the number of unique songs also increased by 1, right? From j minus 1 to j. So that's why for each playlist of length i minus 1 with j minus 1 unique song, we can add a new song to make the playlist uh, length i and uh, the number of unique song j. So in this scenario, so how many new songs are available for us to choose from? So at this point, so the playlist contains j minus 1, right? And uh, since there are a um, total of n unique song, the number of new song we can add to playlist is n minus j minus 1, right? So more precisely, so n minus j plus 1, right? So now we are talking about the, this part. And uh, with n minus j plus 1 choice for a new song, so the number of new playlists we can create by adding a new song is, so dpi minus 1 and j minus 1 is a previous result, multiply, so number of new song, right? So that's why uh, we keep this result to current new, um, like a dpi and j position. OK, so let's think about uh, when we reply the old song we already added to playlist. So the playlist length increased by 1 from i i minus 1 to i, right? But uh, the number of unique songs remains the same, j, right? So as a result, for each playlist of length i minus one with j unique songs, uh, we can increase the playlist length to i by replaying the old song while still uh, maintaining the number of unique songs as j. So in this scenario, so how many previous played songs can we uh, choose from? At this point, the playlist contains uh, j unique songs, so we can choose from these j songs. However, uh, and due to the constraint that we cannot we cannot play a song until k other song have been played, so we cannot choose from the song played in the last k slots. So that's why if j is greater than k, so in this case the number of all songs we can replay is j minus k, right? So given and the opportunity to select from j minus k, the number of new playlists we can create by replaying the old song is dpi and uh, j unique song multiply uh, j minus k song. So that's why uh, if this condition is true, so we added this value to um, a dpi and j position. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize mod equal 10 to the power of 9 
plus seven. And uh, create a DP, uh, DP array. So this is a 2D array. So zero, uh, so initialize zero and for underscore in range and uh, n plus one. And uh, for underscore in range and uh, goal plus one. And uh, first of all, initialized uh, zero zero position. So zero zero position with one because uh, so this is a empty playlist. So definitely one, right? So after that, so uh, this is a, a main point I explained in the previous section. So for i in range and uh, from i uh, from one to goal plus one. And then we use one more for loop for j in range and uh, from one to mean and the i or n plus one. So this mean i n is served to constrain the calculation within the range where the playlist length i does not e exceed the total number of songs n. So this expression ensures that the playlist length i is controlled not to go beyond n, n song. For example, so when attempting to create a list with larger goal, so potentially uh, exceeding the value of n, so it's not feasible to include more unique songs in the playlist than the total available n songs. So that's why using a min, min i n becomes a crucial uh, to limit the playlist length i to not surpass n. And then, so after that, so as I explained earlier, so dp, dp, dpi and j equal, so dp, i minus one and uh, j minus one. So previous result multiply. So in this case, as I explained earlier, so n minus j plus one. And then um, divide mod. And then next we think about the, uh, we uh, replay the old song we already added to playlist. But uh, there is a condition. So if j is greater than k, in the case of so dp, i, and j equal, so dp, i and j plus dp i minus one and uh, j multiply j minus k and then we should divide mode so after that return dp and uh, call and uh, and song yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of goal multiply n. So we need to iterate over two dimensional DP table size like a goal plus one by n plus one. In each cell, we perform constant time operation. So that's why. And the space complexity is also order of goal multiply n. So we create a, a 2D array. So goal multiply n. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.